Hey there, Variety here. Welcome to today's video in which we're going to be doing a full raid guide for the Epic Tree Challenge Mode, Vitaris Land. So recently I uploaded an Epic version, which wasn't very difficult and it got nerfed substantially, so anyone should be able to beat it relatively easily. However, the Challenge Mode is a huge step up. The biggest mechanic difference is the Hornets, as you can see on the ground, and there are a lot of them, and you have to dodge them. This makes it much more difficult than it appears on paper. So in the Elite version, you can kind of just walk in and out of the beam, and, you know, drop the buff, and then come back and get more damage. But in the Challenge version, you have to go get the Hornets, or I like to refer to them as Bees, and drop more of them on the ground. So more and more Hornets are on the map, and you have to keep dodging them, otherwise it keeps adding more. This challenge mode is significantly more challenging due to the Hornets, the real extreme DPS check because it has a hard enrage, extreme healing on the people that are min-maxing the beam to do as much damage as they can, and you really have to make sure the beam doesn't hit the boss because if the boss has even 4 to 5 stacks, he will hit the tank for 420,000 damage. That's what I got hit by from the boss. So he hits really hard and it'll wipe out your tanks if you let the beams through. So this particular raid requires high coordination, high healing, and high damage. I'm going to make this guide a little bit longer because I want to talk about a couple extra things that you can do to help your raid. Because just a video that says basically kill ads, kill boss, is really not going to help you actually clear this raid. Because it is that difficult compared to Merfolk. Okay, so let's get to it. Okay, so let's get this fight started. So you're going to notice that the beams are going to come in a T formation. I'm always going to try to be on top of the T. It's important to note here, the best way to get around is to run directly through the boss like I did just then, and not get hit by any beams. As so as you can see, I'm on top of the T, and people are grabbing the beams. People are going to take a lot of stacks here, because they're trying to do as much DPS as they can. Pyrrhus comes through, this is where you taunt, it's pretty straightforward for the tanks at this point. Probably the hardest thing here is the combination of DPS and healers trying to min-max the damage. After this wild growth comes out, it's going to be chains. If two people on the beams get chained together, it's extremely annoying. Okay, so as you can see, I'm chained with Gunbo, and I'm taunting the tank from far away. The mushroom's going to come in, and I'm going to stun the mushroom if it gets too close. Stuns are probably the most underrated ability in raiding. If you have an AoE stun, it can help in numerous ways. This here is just a dodge ability. As you can see, there are a lot of bees around. If you have more melee classes, it's more difficult because all the bees are stacked in the middle. We're going to keep dodging the wild growth. After you've done this a couple of times, it's literally walk in, walk out. Like, you do it on autopilot. The only thing you really need to be aware of is if the boss has stacks and he uses a pierce on you, it's going to do a lot of damage. Okay. The, they split up, the red, remember, run away, blue, come together. Here comes the mushroom again. I'm standing here in front of it because of the stun. That's why I ran over there. Okay, so here's the guardian. You want to stack everybody up. We were using the entrance for the heal, for the stomp, and then we bring the outer round. The most important thing here is to avoid the bees. There's two pink coughs, but it's pretty easy to avoid. But you must avoid the bees here. If you start stacking them around the boss, they stay till the next phase and it will cripple you. So I dropped the bee there, but I was trying to, you know, pull the mobs. I'm not perfect. At this point, I still wasn't sure which direction it was going to go in. So I was kind of standing on the side waiting. Stun's very important here because I can keep the ad from doing a tremendous amount of damage. You'll notice that I taunt quite a lot to bring the ads around so I can control where they're going. Trying to dodge the bees, but I'm getting hit. I moved the B out. Unfortunately, it doesn't get taunted immediately, but it gets pulled back, so that's A-OK. -okay. Probably the most dicey thing here is taking too many Bs or Hornets or stacking two ads. If you stack two ads and a single tank pulls them, it does an astronomical amount of damage, more than it looks like, because we're being supported by top-tier top tier healers. Okay, so at this point, the off tank will grab the ad as it's still alive, and I will pull the boss. Ideally, you want to get the ad down to about 25%, so you can kind of kill it with a little bit of AoE over time. You can't let it stick around for too long, though, because it can kill the tanks when it's combined with the damage from the raid boss. Okay, there is another 
Taunt Swap, pretty easy. As you can see, the Taunt Swap's not doing a lot of damage if the boss doesn't have stacks. Everybody is swapping in and out of the beams and dropping the Hornets like they do usually. Dodge the Wild Growth. As you can see, it's kind of the same mechanics again and again, right? The Mushroom. So right now, I'm looking at the Mushroom and I'm considering the Taunt Timer. Us having two stuns here made this a lot easier. We tried doing this without two stuns previously and the Mushrooms were very dicey when we didn't have the stuns and more melee classes. Honestly, if you could bring two AoE stuns in at any rate, I'd recommend doing it. It is that useful. Okay, so we're dodging more AoEs. A lot of Bs are starting to come. As you can see, they're all around the upper right-hand side. But they will clear when we go into the next phase. So the Bs clear when you go into the... Into the second phase, so like the mob phase. But they stay there when you're coming out of it. Okay, so we're going to pull it around. We don't know where we're going yet. Okay, run around to the front of the boss. Or the back of the boss. Bees, dodge the bees at all costs. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Stuns are coming down. Perfect. Man, I cannot overstate how helpful those stuns are. Okay, so here I'm going to use a lot of my bigger buffs. Because as we get closer to the end of the fight, the healers and the DPS are kind of holding onto their biggest cooldowns. So I'm trying to use mine right now to, you know, lessen the load on the healers. You don't really need your biggest cooldowns as a tank on this boss against the boss unless he has stacks. If he has stacks, you're in trouble. But if he doesn't have stacks and your team are doing it right, you can kind of use your cooldowns in the ad phase. Make it a little bit easier. So I'm going to keep cutting it around. Unfortunately, I have bees here and I drop it. I was getting a little bit antsy, I admit. I definitely shouldn't have dropped it. I dropped it on the melee. That was really poor of me. There are two adds here. The call is to make sure that the first ad dies because it's really important that it drops. If two adds are on the tank while it's pulling the boss, you're in trouble. Okay, the boss is exhausted, so the boss is going to come back up. I'm going to main tank it. Now, as you can see up the top, the Berserk time is coming, and he's, the, and he's got a lot of HP left. So at this point, we kind of just Berserk him. We throw everything at him, Burst Potions and everything else, to try to bring him down before the Enrage timer happens. If the Enrage timer happens, we're done. There's the Pierce, Tank Swap. I'm not sure if I do it in this run, but I believe that I might taunt... Yeah, I do. So see how I taunted the ad off the tank? That was to make sure he didn't get hit by the mob and the boss at the same time. Right now, we're basically just kind of buying time while the DPS burn him before the fight ends. Congratulations on winning your next epic challenge raid. Thanks for watching.